Could we be any better themed? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney dining review. I mean, it was so perfect that this dining review is going to be aired on Thanksgiving. I am not eating a Thanksgiving meal, at least not a traditional Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> We're to going us. to eat Italian, so. Some people probably have Italian on Thanksgiving. Anyway, sure. but we're wearing our friend's Thanksgiving shirt. We can do a little with the turkey on our heads. <laughs> I'm with you in spirit. We are headed over to Hollywood Studios today to go to Mama Melrose. Uh, we ate here 4,000 years ago. I mean, not that long, but... We've been here a couple of times, actually, but yeah. way back when we would get the dining plan and... You know. I think it was always whenever we would get the Fantasmic dining package because it was, it was kind of a nice and expensive meal that you could grab um, with that Fantasmic package. And so... Yeah, I just don't remember being blown away, but I don't remember it being horrible either. So no. I'm actually kind of curious. I just feel like there's a ton of Italian places we've, on Disney property. We've eaten a lot of pasta lately. Um, I'm in burrata <laughs> out right now. Like, I, what, yeah. what do we got on here that's non burrata related? Yeah, so we were talking about the menu earlier and I was like, well, the appetizer, there's like this house made Italian meatball that sounds really good that's got marinara, fresh ricotta, and basil. There's the vine ripened tomatoes and fresh mozzarella. Nope. And Dan's like, nope. we've had that so much. Um, there, it, there are fried fresh mozzarellas, crispy calamari. There's a minestrone soup, Caesar salad, and a margarita flatbread. Um, on entrees, you have everything from like a steak to a, a pork chop to pasta. So there's lots of different options. You think the waiter would be annoyed if I said, give me your most non-Italian dish? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, that maybe that'd be the best thing for the dining review either. So it's true. <laughs> I'm just gonna but, go in and say, what's your most popular thing? I'll have that. But I will say that the pork chop actually looks quite tasty. It comes with like polenta. Um, so I don't know. I'm a little all over the place on this one. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna yeah. happen once we get there. The drinks, they do have like a couple of specialty beverages, but the majority of the drinks are those same drinks you can get everywhere, like the smoked turkey and all that stuff. So we won't be getting any of those. Uh, we've had those. A lot. Yeah. Um, so we'll look at the specialty, what they had like three or something specialty yeah, cocktails. I think there's like five, but there's- Well, there's a couple there's, that are just like dessert cocktails. Exactly, and that's the thing. We're not huge, like just sweet drink no. uh, people. So there was like a cappuccino like drink, and then there was a tiramisu martini. We'll not be getting that. Which, I mean, if you're a sweet drinker, I bet that's fantastic. And the cannolis. So I'm always impressed by the cannolis over at Pizza Rizzo whenever they have them. So. I might be intrigued to get some cannoli. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. <laughs> anyway, um, we are actually on time. Let's not be late, let's go to Hollywood Studios and see how this is. Yep. Let's do this. the Mama's Margarita. This is basically like a traditional margarita, but it's made with limoncello, um, and it is actually delicious. So it tastes like a lemon drop, like um, like the candy, like, um, you know, that you suck on. That's what it tastes like. It's so, so good. We also got bread with this yummy little dip, and then we are, um, we're ordering, we've got the fried mozzarella on the way, and she brought us extra bread in our basket because the mozzarella comes on a bed of the marinara sauce, and she said it's really good to dip the bread in. I like her already. The bread's good, simple, kind of just typical dinner rolls. Um, the dipping sauce that they bring out, it has some nice flavor to it with the Italian herbs in it and the olive oil, and um, I'm really excited to try the bread in the marinara. One of the other four specialty drinks is uh, sangria. They have red or white, so I chose the white. It's nice, it's basic, but it's a nice fruity sangria. 
They uh, brought out our appetizer, which is the fried mozzarella. Um, it is. It comes with two pieces of mozzarella, so I'm just going to try a little piece real quick. Mmm. That's real good. I got these shrimp campanelle. It's like a, like a pasta with there's, I think, cauliflower and spinach and shrimp. Um, it looks fantastic. It's got like a, like a buttery, alfredo-y type flavor to it. Um, it's really done pretty well. Like it's, it's um, I wasn't expecting that. They are fast here. We ordered this like five minutes ago. Um, okay, I got the chicken parmesan. Um, this was one of the three dishes that she recommended, the other one being, or one of the other two being what Leslie got. It's good. It's not the best chicken parmesan I've ever had in my life, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's quite tasty. You want a fast Italian meal done pretty well? It's a good spot. Okay, so we are full and stuffed and satisfied, and we will finish this up at home. All right, we are back. This was surprising. I will say. But first, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. Is this the best Italian food on Disney property? No. no. But it doesn't have to be. This place was actually pretty surprising because it fills a very specific need. Um, there is a need for table service meals done well, better than average. Uh, that are reasonably priced fast. Table service meals usually take a lot of time. They were super fast here. And this was one of the less expensive meals because we get, you know, we try the drinks and, you know, multiple. And this is one, I mean, this was actually kind of surprising. So let's just dive right in. So for ambiance and theming, we went back and forth on this a little bit. You are set in this really cute, like Italian themed restaurant. It almost feels like you're maybe in like an outdoor covered courtyard or something with the like lights and the greenery hanging around. Um, there's like fake bread and baskets of peppers and it feels very Italian. Um, but, and I think Dan originally said three and a half for this and then I was like, this is one of the quieter places that we've eaten at in a very long time. And there were a lot of people in there. And so it absorbs sound very well. So it was, it was a very pleasant experience. It was. And then um, what bumped it up a little bit for me was the um, kind of expo kitchen. So you're, yeah. you're in a dining room, but there's kind of windows that look out into the um, expo kitchen. So you got, like you can see the fire back there and then plating stuff and sticking it on the, um, you know, it, it's just, again, for what it is, it was really nice. Yeah. Um, so it was definitely above average. We gave ambiance and theming a four. Yep. All right, service. So our waitress was fantastic. She was, she was so good. She, um, she gave some wonderful recommendations. She, um, was attentive. She was just sweet as could be. Um, she didn't like go into the backstory, but she was just a very solid waitress. Yeah, she was, um, I mean, gosh, I, I can't, not to mention, I mean, the waitress was great, but also like that speedy service, like everything we got came out it felt instantaneously. I know it wasn't, but like we ordered drinks and appetizer and we hadn't even like, she came back almost immediately with the drinks and we hadn't even finished trying you trying your drink and then the appetizer came. And so then, and it was like, holy cow, you got free bread, which was great. The bread wasn't, you know, the best bread in the world, but the olive oil with the um, uh, Italian seasoning spices in there was very good. Um, and then she thought ahead to bring us extra bread to dip in the marinara sauce in the appetizer. Um, I have no complaints with it. We didn't, we didn't ever like, it was so fast. We didn't like drain our waters. Like, I mean, it was just, <laughs> That's true. We, we ordered the entrees and within five minutes they were hot, fresh in front of us. We don't think it's necessarily like Victorian Alberts or Monsieur Paul, like the five, mm. level five, um, kind of service. But as far as like just service and a table service and a, and a, uh, theme park. It was fantastic. So we gave her a four. So if I get drinks, um, so they are, they have full wine list, full bar. Um, most of the drinks are the same drinks you can get anywhere. Like kind of those standard Disney made drinks. Uh, but they have four, 
Um, on this menu, on the dinner or lunch menu, they had four specialty cocktails. Um, the one that she recommended, she said, was super, super sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't get that one. Neither um, one of us are big sweet drinkers. No. Uh, the other one she recommended was the Italian margarita, which you got, which Mama's, I tried. Mama's, Mama's margarita. Mama's margarita. Huh? Which is very good. It had a very, it's like you uh, were drinking a lemon drop. Yeah. So it was it was like margarita, but lemony margarita, if that makes sense. It was instead tasty. Of, instead of lime margarita, it was super good. Yours was better than mine was. Mine was like a sangria, standard sangria. Not bad, not great. Um, straight up average. So mine, I'm gonna, I, I would say mine would be a three, but yours was better. Yeah, so we went with three and a half on drinks overall. Food. Okay, so the mozzarella, uh, fried mozzarella sticks, Sticks? Do they call them sticks? Anyway, They're it was more, more like, like a patty. Pups. Yeah, like a little patty. Um, anyway, there's two of them. So I recommend if you are coming with a group that's larger than two people, I'm not sure that this is the, the appetizer to order because it is quite small, but they were fantastic. They were, they were absolutely delicious. Um, yep. So I, I would highly recommend them. They were very good. This is the one thing that I felt may have been a little overpriced at $13 yeah. for two little fried pieces of mozzarella. Um, but the food, the entrees were very, very good. Again, was it the best Italian dish in the world? Absolutely mm. not. But um, if you're in the middle of a theme park and you just want to get off your feet for 40, 45 minutes and have hot, fresh, decent Italian. So like for instance, I got the chicken parmesan, the, um, the pasta, was average, straight up average. It was fine. It was the standard marinara sauce. I mean, you could probably open a jar of ragu and get about the same rag marinara sauce, but it was fresh, it was hot, it was cooked perfectly al dente and the pasta sauce was on it with grated Parmesan on top of that. So, um, you know, where that was, that was probably a three, half my dish, um, but the chicken breast was definitely above average. It was hot, it was cooked well, there was, um, you know, the melty cheese and, and, and uh, marinara sauce on top of that. So the chicken breast, I finished all of. The pasta I ate a little bit with my chicken breast, but um, there was still a pile of pasta on my plate when I was done. Yeah, I got the shrimp campan campanelle, campanelle. Sure. Anyway, um, and it was really good. I liked the little addition of the cauliflower in there. It gave this kind of like crunchy bit to the pasta and the shrimp and the spinach. Um, it had kind of like a, like I mentioned on the video before, like a creamy Alfredo-y um, type sauce, but not, I don't feel like it was as heavy as like a typical Alfredo. It kind of um, had a little bit lighter not light, but just lighter than a normal Alfredo sauce feel. Um, but it was it was good. Like it wasn't kind of like Dan said, it wasn't like the best Italian food I've ever had. But it was solid. It was solid. Yeah. Um, we came away with a full to go box of half of your dish and a couple of those leftover rolls. Mm -hmm. um, and I had plenty of pasta left, but. I mean, it's just so average pasta, so we didn't even bring that home. But like, if you didn't get the two adult beverages and maybe didn't get the yeah. little overpriced uh, fried mozzarella and you had a family of four, you could easily like share a couple of dishes or maybe get one more dish and kind of share all three and you'd be set, you'd walk away full. Yeah. And with what we got, two adult beverages, one appetizer, two entrees, two full entrees, um, and the free bread with the table with tax tip, everything. We did get a 10% discount, but with everything out the door, um, it was $120, which I feel like for, you know, for all of that, like I feel like it's a pretty decent value to get something good and fast is like really yeah. key. So food, we gave a three and a half. All right, so if you add all that up and divide it out, it is a 3.75. This is what was surprising to me. Like I fully would have just said, oh, it's probably a three, 3.25, somewhere in there is kind of where it probably will fall. Maybe a three and a half. But I kind of like our, our system here because it forces us to really kind of look at all the individual little pieces of a dining experience. Yeah, I mean, um, it's funny because a lot of times, like, well, like a three point seven five, we would say don't bother. Um, it was good, but there's so much more options out there. But honestly, in Hollywood studios, there aren't a ton of options. Yeah. I mean, you've got sci-fi, which is notoriously hard to get into, and honestly, not everybody it's not everybody's favorite cup of tea there. Fifties um, uh, prime time, which solid food. I don't particularly like the antics, um, and then Hollywood Brown Derby, which. 
I was actually disappointed in that one when we went. Yeah. And uh, the character dining. So yeah. this is this is a solid fifth this option solid if you want to fit something in there that's not as expensive a character, actually better food than a buffet, and if you like Italian, like this is this is. Not bad. All right. So if you're liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.